2016 may have gone, but it'll no doubt be remembered as one of the finest years for Danish badminton. In May, the men's team celebrated an unprecedented Thomas Cup victory. Three months later, the Danes went on to clinch two medals at the Rio 2016 Olympics. Men's singles ace Victor Axelsson grabbed the bronze, and women's doubles pair Christina Pedersen and Camilla Ritterjul secured silver for Denmark. Great uh, year for, for the whole Denmark team. We are just in a, in a really good shape at the moment, uh, all of our players, and um, there's a nice atmosphere back home uh, on, uh, on the tr uh, training uh, court, so, so it's great to be a part of, uh, of the Danish team. This year, the Danes will be hoping to ride on the success of 2016, especially after welcoming a new head coach at the helm. Since Lars Uhr's retirement late last year, assistant coach Kenneth Jonassen has taken over the reins. Together with his newly assembled coaching team, they are now poised to usher in a new era. Kenneth is keen to carry on the good work of his predecessor. I think I've learned a lot from Lars, uh, very much so in terms of being patient and kind of see how things develop before taking action. He's shown me a lot of uh, responsibility over the years in terms of handling both uh, women's doubles and men's single here in Denmark. It's a huge responsibility to become a, a, a head coach here in, in Denmark. It's kind of top of the ladder, so to speak. We have a great history and a lot of uh, results, obviously, uh, which we want to try to achieve again. And, and, and better if that is possible. It's a natural choice that, uh, that Kenneth moves up uh, one step and uh, hopefully he can, uh, he can uh, do as good as, as Lars has done, maybe, maybe better. Uh, I think uh, the whole uh, coaching team uh, is, is looking pretty, pretty good. Kenneth and his team may have only just taken on their roles, but they're already busy mapping out their plans in what would be another busy year for the Denmark national team. 2017 is obviously we will have the Sudeman Cup, which we want to do well in. I think we want to try, of course, to, to medal. I, I believe we have a team that can that can do that. Uh, but then we have the World Championship, uh, another interesting event where I would say more or less for the first time since the Olympics, I would say that the, the players, pairs from around the world are at the top again, uh, ready to compete. There's a lot of new pairs in the double, so uh, it's going to be an interesting 2017. First up, though, will be the defense of their European Mixed Team Championships crown next week in Poland, a title they've proudly won a record 15 times. Chasing glory aside, a Scandinavian's new badminton chief also sees it as a great platform to break in some of their youngsters. Obviously, we go there as huge favorites. Uh, no question about that at all, uh, but we also have a mixed team with experience and younger players to get their chance uh, at the highest European level. Uh, but yeah, we go there, uh, it's part of our preparation also for, uh, for the All England. We go there to win and uh, we kind of have the team, uh, bringing the team to, to Poland that we believe is strong enough. With stalwarts like Joachim Fischer Nielsen, Christina Pedersen, and Camilla Ritter Yul in the latter stage of their careers, regeneration for the mixed and women's doubles is one of the priorities. It'll be a challenge replacing such key players, and the Danes are careful not to rush the nurturing process of its young shuttlers. It's not something that we are our desperately worried about, but we are trying to do our very best to, uh, to put things in place, get younger players in at the national team, work with them uh, as much as possible. We're in a system where we just can't pull all the players in all the time because they have school and other obligations that we have to uh, accept. Uh, but slowly uh, we are, we're moving players uh, a little bit faster up the ranks and uh, yeah, we start here at the national centre and then we'll see how they develop before we kind of expose them to uh, bigger challenges. An example of the Danish way is exemplified in the women's solo format. Ever since three-time All England champion Tina Baun called time on her career in 2013, Denmark has embarked on a strategy of gradually bringing through a group of young hopefuls. 
we had a lady single project uh, where we kind of had a, a larger group of girls being pushed through a, a lot for four years. From that we are, we are definitely looking to push them on. So I think we have a great uh, internal uh, competition. Uh, I can easily mention uh, eight to ten girls, not world class level but uh, international level in Europe. I think we have Lena already now at the top, in, I think she's 20 in the world ranking. So the step up to top 16 isn't that far away and it could definitely be done. So it's small steps and then we have a younger generation behind her pushing on and uh, some great talent there. I'm really believing that the, I can uh, reach what I, what I hope uh, to can um, and yeah, maybe the future will, will show what, uh, what it's going to be, so uh, not now. <laughs> Time and patience will be key as these starlets continue their development. But for Kenneth and his supporting cast, the national team's fiery ambitions still burn bright. We have a history of uh, bringing medals to Denmark and we want to continue with that. Uh, this new team of coaches uh, has a great desire and a passion that is second to none. Instead of making all the changes at once, we're just kind of taking it slow and uh, getting uh, all the coaches to get the, the bearings right in terms of uh, which direction they want to go. It is going to be a, a project that's going to develop and hopefully uh, succeed in, in 2020. So when we stand in September 2020 after Tokyo, we're going to look back at the four another four great years. We want to challenge, we want to push for that limit and to see uh, if we can push the limit a little bit if we reach it. With a solid foundation already laid out by the old guard and an exciting evolution set to take shape, Denmark's relentless pursuit for badminton glory isn't losing steam anytime soon.